Oh my God, I have been waiting so long to do this video. Where is Jonathan Taylor Thomas, or as I like to call him, JTT? Jonathan was one of the biggest heartthrobs in the 90s and had everyone and their mothers swooning. Okay, maybe not their mother, but you know what I mean. Now, if you have never heard his name before, wait, because I know you have seen Disney's original Lion King. Well, he voiced young Simba. Now that we're on the same page, let's find out what he's been up to since his home improvement days. My name is Katie. Be sure to give us a follow wherever you're watching this video. Now let's get into it. Believe it or not, Jonathan Jonathan Taylor Thomas is actually a stage name. It's a clever mashup of his first name, his middle name, and his brother's middle name. JTT, born as Jonathan Weiss, on September 8th, 1981 in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, made appearances in shows like The Brady's and In Living Color before landing his breakout role on Tim Allen's Home Improvement. Remarkably, he was 10 years old at the time, but that role skyrocketed his career to unimaginable heights. Suddenly, he graced the cover of every teen magazine known to mankind. He was like the Brad Pitt of the younger generation generation. Captivating us all with his piercing blue eyes, blonde hair, and that uniquely raspy voice. But his star power didn't stop there. In 1994, JTT lent his voice to the beloved character of young Simba in The Lion King, alongside a stellar cast that included Whoopi Goldberg, Matthew Broadwick, and Nathan Lane. I will never forget that scene. You know the one I'm talking about. He deserved an Oscar for that scene. I know you cried too when Mufasa died. Seriously though, let me know in the comments how much that scene gripped your heartstrings. Afterwards, he he went on to appear in Hollywood movies like I'll Be Home for Christmas, Wild America, Tom and Huck, and Man of the House. Ladies, if you haven't watched Wild America yet, I highly recommend it. At the age of 17, JTT made a bold decision to temporarily step away from his acting career. He enrolled at Harvard University and later pursued studies at St. Andrews University in Scotland, focusing on philosophy and history. Not stopping there, he continued his academic pursuits at Columbia in 2010, where he earned his bachelor's degree. Clearly, he's not just a pretty face. But where's JTT now? It's evident that he's never been one to revel in fame and instead prefers to keep a low profile. He currently doesn't have any social media presence, and as far as we know, he is single. Rumor has it that he was in a relationship and even got engaged to Natalie Wright back in 2007, but alas, the relationship ended the same year. Interesting enough, JTT also became entangled in the ongoing cycle of death hoaxes, a fate suffered by many celebrities. However, let us rejoice for he is alive and well, thank God. The burning question remains, will we ever see JTT again? Will he grace our screens and revive his acting career? Or at the very least, let us know he's okay by venturing into like the real world? I sure hope so. That's it on this episode of Where Are They Now? Let us know who to feature next, and I'll see you in another video.